This is me, Bianca Ryan. Right now we're in the studio uh, where I wrote What I Gotta Do, and this is Scott Stallone, the producer. I guess. And the genius also behind the song. So the writing process for What I Gotta Do, I feel like that was that was pretty simple. It's like that love Well, it definitely had break. the 80s feel to it, and we're like, let's just go with it. Let's just yeah. take it there, because it felt that way in the yeah. initial stage. And I was like, let's, let's go there even further. Yeah. So it's 80s redo. It's like a reflipped 80s beat. You know, um, remember the first version we had? It was like all breaky. Oh, yeah. And then it turned into what it is now. Yeah. But all of the vocals. We filled it in. Literally all the vocals were done in the first day. Yep. Um, so um, that's because she's really good at knocking stuff out. Uh, production wise, it was just really fun to revisit some of the stuff that you think about when you think about 80s beats, you know, all electro stuff and just like hi hat patterns and um, and the bridge is a total homage to like backstreet 90s yeah you know um, definitely you know just took it there so basically the song i really wanted it to have an 80s throwback and scott totally nailed that i wanted this one to really have like that like just that fun vibe you know just like rolling around in like a skating ring breaking up with like your boyfriend in like fourth grade kind of kind of vibe to it and i i, I think that. we nailed it yeah yeah I remember that. that's probably what got us through the whole day you and bella oh we were just envisioning the music video for it right all like day. pretend skating around the studio yeah all day yeah so yeah we definitely nailed that vibe thanks bella <laughs> yeah <laughs> My favorite part of recording this song here was really just laying down the harmonies and all the backup vocals. You probably don't realize this when you're listening, but there's literally like 20 vocals going in the back. And I just had so much fun just sitting here with Scott, just like developing different harmonies, making them really, really fun, doing who's and hey's. And I've actually really never done all of the backup vocals on any of my own original music before. So it was really, really cool. It was a very different experience for me. And we even have Scott in there on a few of the backup vocals, which is really fun. Um, so it was really cool. What is the instrument that you used? I just did on like a keyboard. It's like dun 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 dun. Oh yeah. Wow, well, well, I don't know if that's your voice too. Uh, no, it's not. But it's a uh, it's a sample. It's basically this model of a a Moog or Moog synth that they would have used in the 80s so it's i used you know a software software version of it but um you know all the 80s bass lines used to be like these synth bass lines and it was just the biggest fattest uh moogiest sound i could find and it sets off this in the song and um you, you instantly feel this is going in like an 80s direction and when i came upon like coming out with how i wanted the music to sound in what I gotta do, it's pretty evident that I was listening to New Kids on the Block for the two weeks before I wrote that song. Definitely. And uh, I promised my aunt, who's like their biggest fan, that I would write her something that resembled that sound and that era. So she must love you. She oh, must yeah. be thrilled. Yeah, yeah she is. So um, basically, um, we came up, we wanted it to be like kind of simple in the beginning, lyrically and vocally, and then we just wanted that just chorus to just like crash. And okay. I think the harmonies in the pre chorus, there's like how many harmonies did we do Tons. for that one? Tons. But he makes it sound like one. <laughs> so it just blends so smooth. Um, so I think I think we know that one musically too with the 80s throwback. It's definitely one of my favorite. When we finished, that was the first one we did. Yeah, well, that was the first song that we did together. So when we did that, I'm like, does she want her whole record to be 80s? I'm like, I'll do it. I'm like, I'll <laughs> go there because this is fun. But um, I was like, wow, this is going to be an interesting project. And then um, yeah, it, just, it was so much fun that it didn't matter whatever... The rest of the song sounded like it was like I want to work with this girl some more. So.
Tell me what I gotta say To make everything go away Tell me what I gotta say